As a long-time MacBook Pro user, I was always wondering if the powerful M4 iPad Pro could truly replace my trusty laptop, so I decided to put it to the test and find out if it's any good. Apple is advertising the iPad Pro by saying, your next computer is not a computer, it's an iPad. Well, let's find out if it's true, but first, let's unbox the iPad Pro. The box is fairly standard. I've also added a smart folio for my iPad Pro. I've always loved official Apple accessories. They are really good quality. Unfortunately, there is nothing interesting in the box. Just the iPad Pro, a bunch of useless papers and a USB-C charging cable. No charging brick. It's so sad that they've removed the iconic Apple stickers from the box. Now the unboxing experience of Apple's products literally became boring. The magic is gone. My first impressions holding the iPad Pro are rather positive. I'm really impressed with how thin it is. This is really amazing, it feels very premium. It's been a while since I was impressed by any Apple product. Good job Apple, good job. I purchased the cheapest and the smallest iPad Pro, the 11 inch model. I paid a little bit over $1000 because I bought it in France and in Europe everything is more expensive. The smart folio case was like $100, so the total price of the set is almost the price of a entry-level MacBook Air. Alright, now it's time to put this iPad Pro through a series of serious tests and find out if it's any good, if it is truly possible to replace a MacBook Pro or a MacBook Mac OS with an iPad Pro. Well, I'm a little bit skeptical about the idea of replacing a MacBook with an iPad. For me, an iPad is a device for consuming content, watching videos, scrolling on Reddit or social media. And the MacBook is something for productivity, for making content, writing documents, getting things done. But let's see, I don't know, maybe the iPad Pro will surprise me. First things first, I decided to connect my Magic Keyboard and my Magic Mouse to my iPad Pro, so it will look more like a MacBook. Although adding two additional accessories to transform my iPad Pro into a MacBook is another $200. And here comes my first frustration. The iPad Pro with a magic mouse and a magic keyboard, it's something very weird. It's a Frankenstein. For me, the iPad OS is designed to be used with a touchscreen and not with a magic mouse. Scrolling through Reddit using my magic mouse feels a little bit weird and it's much more comfortable comfortable to just hold my iPad in my hand and enjoy the content. And don't get me wrong, it's okay, it's okay to use a keyboard with your iPad. I know there is an official keyboard plus trackpad folio for the iPad which is like $350 or something like that. I'm just asking myself why people are buying these combos, you know, the iPad Pro, which is already pretty expensive, an expensive keyboard, which is not a real keyboard, but it's a case with a keyboard and a trackpad, and it costs almost the same price as the MacBook Air, so if you need a MacBook, just buy a MacBook, and if you need an iPad to enjoy the content, well, just buy an iPad and use it with your fingers. Talking about the fingers, let's talk about consuming the content iPad Pro versus MacBook Pro. And you know what? The iPad Pro experience is so much better. The ProMotion 120Hz display is simply amazing. It's truly one of the best displays I've ever seen in my life. This tandem OLED display is simply gorgeous. You know, scrolling through Reddit, watching YouTube videos on this iPad Pro is very, very comfortable. Although my MacBook Pro also has the 120Hz ProMotion display, it's not as comfortable as the iPad. The iPad is also the ultimate YouTube device. If you like watching YouTube videos, there is no more pleasant activity than holding your iPad and enjoying your favorite YouTube videos. The iPad is a perfect device for consuming content. The iPhone is too small, the MacBook is too big, the iPad is the perfect compromise between a small iPhone and a big MacBook. But do you really need to spend $1,000 just to watch YouTube videos? My answer is yes. If you have $1,000 to spend, please buy an iPad Pro for watching YouTube videos. Trust me, you'll enjoy it. 
The iPad Pro is also amazing for reading news, reading magazines. For example, I'm using the Apple News Plus subscription and it's a truly pleasant experience just to browse through my news feed check out some newspapers, my favorite magazines. On this 120Hz ProMotion display, everything looks simply stunning. Since I've purchased this iPad Pro, I've almost stopped using my iPhone for consuming content. Doing that on an iPad is so much better. The screen is bigger, you see more things. It's simply better. Now let's talk about productivity. And here comes the second bad news. Unfortunately, the iPad is almost useless for any kind of productivity workflow, at least in my case. When I'm talking about productivity, in my case, it's mostly using video editing software like Final Cut. Although Apple recently released a Final Cut app for the iPad, it's not the same thing. It's not the same Final Cut. I don't know why. I don't know even a single person on this earth, on this planet, who is using an iPad Pro for editing videos in Final Cut. It's a nice gimmick. It's a nice app, maybe to edit your travel video or small stuff for Instagram. If we are talking about serious video editing projects, they cannot be done on an iPad. It's simply not serious. Can you imagine a serious video editor with an iPad? It's a nice gimmick, it's a nice device, it's a nice addition, but it's not a productivity tool. The iPad can be used for some office tasks, I don't know, editing documents, watching videos, but not making videos, unfortunately. And here comes my second question. Do you need a $1,000 iPad Pro just for editing your text documents or working with PDFs? I don't think so. You can buy the cheapest laptop on the market and it will do the job as well. Every time I'm using this iPad Pro, I am amazed by the build quality, by the display, how thin it is. It's a truly remarkable device. As I said earlier, it's been a while since I was impressed by Apple product and this one is simply amazing. Guys, it's very, very thin, very light, very comfortable to use. Actually, I prefer to use the iPad without smart folio case because when you add the smart folio case, the iPad gets bulkier, bigger, heavier, and I just love the natural feel of aluminum glass. Every time I'm holding this iPad Pro in my hands, I'm feeling amazed. I'm feeling excited. This thing really worth $1,000, not less. I think it's also important to mention the quality of its speakers. These sound simply amazing. Unfortunately, I cannot demonstrate to you the audio quality through this video, but trust me, it sounds amazing. At the moment when I'm editing this video, I noticed that this iPad also has a camera. Actually, I never opened the camera app on this iPad and I don't know even a single person on this planet who is using iPad for taking pictures or filming videos. In my opinion, the camera is something completely unnecessary on an iPad. But in case you need, the iPad Pro has a camera. Talking about useless things, the iPad Pro has the Apple intelligence, although I would name it Apple stupidity. It's useless. Well, thanks to Apple Intelligence, you can now generate AI images on your iPad. I just have one question. Why? Why do you need these pictures? Besides that, Siri is still very stupid. It's not operational. This is the Apple Intelligence on the latest iPad Pro. Now, let's talk about gaming on this iPad Pro. Actually, playing games on an iPad is a very nice experience. I am not a big gamer, but having this iPad was a nice opportunity to become one. I've really enjoyed playing some AAA titles on Apple Arcade, like this game, Hot Lava, and I spend a lot of time playing games on my iPad Pro. I'm really surprised, but the iPad is like the ultimate gaming device. This screen is big, you have touch control controls, it's very comfortable, the M4 chip is very powerful, so I never experienced any lags or freezes in any game. And yeah guys, playing games on an iPad is a very pleasant experience, especially with the gamepad. There are some games that support gamepads, controllers like Xbox or PlayStation. If you like playing games on your iPad, the iPad Pro would definitely enhance your experience. Verdict. So. 
is the iPad Pro better than a MacBook? And my answer is no. Comparing a MacBook and an iPad, it's like comparing apples and oranges. It depends. It depends on what you like. I was truly amazed by the build quality of the iPad Pro. It has a gorgeous display. It's a nice thing to have, but unfortunately, it is not a pro device. It is not a pro machine. If you are looking for something more difficult than editing a text document or editing a PDF, you're gonna need a proper MacBook. Unfortunately, the iPad Pro is not a true pro device. It's a nice device for consuming content. It has a high quality, 120 hertz promotion display but it cannot replace a macbook in 2025 even though apple is advertising their ipad pro as your next computer as something that will replace a macbook at least at some point and it's true, you can replace a MacBook with an iPad for a certain amount of tasks like Office, but let's be honest, if you are a hardcore macOS user, an iPad Pro will never replace your MacBook. Thanks for watching, peace.